What's going on everybody? It's your boy Chuckles back at it again. This time we're taking a look at something a little different. An M4, but not an M4, but an M4. We're taking a look at the Lancer Tactical Warlord series. Oh yeah. This rifle is also known as the LT-201BA. Um, this is the carbine length, so the rail is shorter. They do have a DMR length one where it's 17 inches or 14 inches. Um, but that's not this. So we have the carbine. So front to back, I'm going to talk about this thing. So the primary build, the upper, is aluminum. Really nice one-piece aluminum upper receiver. No problems here. Very nice, very clean cuts. Um, key mod. So you have key mod at every position. So, you know, um, on the 45 offset and 90 degree angles, you have all that. So if you want to offset a flashlight, you don't need a special map for that. Just need another key mod segment. Which is cool. This guy comes with two key mod segments. So one presumably for the grip and then another much larger one that you can utilize. Barrel, uh, the rail, the rail is about 10 inches long, um, 10, 10.5 inches. And the uh, barrel we're going to say is approximately 14 inches. Sights, you have the flip up front sight and rear sight. They are adjustable for not windage and not elevation. So they're not adjustable which partially is a disadvantage, but you know, that's how it goes. Um, the rear sight is a people and the front is the like a ghost ring kind of sight. So it's a very interesting kind of way to line it up, but it's really nice because it's really open. It's easy to get it on target. So you don't really have to worry about that too much. Um, a lot of the accessories on this, you can see probably are close to what feels like a BCM, like this vertical grip. It's DITAC essentially, but it's a replica of the BCM stuff, which is really nice. I personally have a replica grip like this, and uh, they do me well. They have a slight cap, so it's really nice for just getting a good purchase on it. Um, but just screws right on to whatever rail system you want, so you can take that off, put that on your other rifles. Cool. You have a golf ball texture on all of the releases, so you it's fully. This gun is essentially fully empty, so the magazine release. You have a nice little hexagon on that side. Another release there. The charging handle pulls the bolt back. Bolt actually locked back. Um, the golf ball, again, style release, either on the right or left side, so it's fully ambi. Um, really cool. Just clicks right into place. It makes it easy to adjust your hop-up. Also included is a rotary style hop-up. Pretty cool. Good thing that uh, Lancer's on that game where everybody's just really starting to make that move towards just even the most basic airsoft gun having rotary style hop-ups, they're a lot less of a headache and the customer is a lot happier in the end. So very cool. And you still are cool enough that you get a drop the bolt for it. So pretty cool feature. Um, you come back, you have an ambidextrous selector. So you have safe, you have semi, you have auto. Clicks into place. Doesn't want to travel anywhere past where it goes. Really nice. So, included is a 120 round hex mag. Um, they make like grip tape for these, you can swap out the base plates. So when the magazine's empty, a cool feature that they have is the orange follower. So if you're uh, firing and maybe your rifle's not feeding, you're not sure what's wrong, you pull it out. If you see that orange, that means that your, gun, your, your, your magazine's empty. But if you don't, then you didn't have a problem. Or if you're pulling out magazines out of your rig, you re-index them, and you're like, oh crap, I'm empty. <laughs> Grab a new one. Very neat little feature that that has. Um, I like the look of the hex mags. If I was going to get another M4, I'd want to get hex mags personally. They just look really cool. Moving back, you do have an ambidextrous sling mount on the rear, so it's either on the left side or the right side. It's pretty small, so you need to make sure you're very selective with whatever sling mount you get. Or you could just do like a key ring on it, like people do with like an MP7 or something. Uh, really nice. You have the stock, which is only, which is adjustable. You have six positions, one, two, three, four, five, six. Closed, all the way open. Not too bad. Uh, it's really akin, it's pretty much an ARX stock on this thing, which is kind of nice. They're really low maintenance, they don't have to do a lot. Easy to adjust, they're not a pain. Just wherever you like it, you're good. The back is also where the battery is stored as well. So, what you do, grab this guy, pull him down just far enough that he'll 
get past this lip there, and boom. Um, you have to be careful with what batteries you select. You could fit a brick type 9.6 uh, in there. They'd be tight because you'd essentially be fitting it in this space. So you actually probably wouldn't. You'd want to run a 7.4 or an 11.1 stick type. Um, I'd recommend the 7.4 versus the 11.1 just because this is not a rifle that has a Mossman in it. But if you want to run an 11.1, this rifle can definitely kind of stand up to it. It does have a little more feature um, features that most rifles do. It does have... It does have the Gen 2 Lancer Tactical Gearbox. So all the internals, so like I said, the rotary style hop-up has a Type 4 barrel, has a micro switch trigger, a bunch of other goodies uh, underneath the hood that make this thing a lot better than just your standard crappy run-of-the-mill M4 that you found on the side of the road. So definite step up. FPS-wise, we got this thing shooting about 345 with a .25 gram BB. So it's perfect indoors, outdoors, if you don't mind a little bit of the length, then uh, perfect for indoors. Outdoors, this thing will do great. Um, put a little bit heavier BB in it. If it's shooting too hot at whatever field you have, you might have a lower limit than most airsoft fields. Again, that quick change spring is going to drop the FPS. I kind of like the look of the rifle. It's kind of like an M4. It's like an XCR, I'd say, more than anything. Like, it has the one-piece upper. It's really cool, but it has an M4 lower. It's really stylized and different. It stands out. If you want a starter rifle to mid-tier rifle, that has a lot of swag, 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 swag components to it, these are the rifle to go to. They're going to be good for indoors and outdoors, and they look really cool. Honestly, these have generated a lot of interest with their customers, so um, they very much like the look of the Warlord series rifle. So definitely, if you haven't already, Come check it out. It's fully ambi. It's a great idea. Indoors, outdoors, this guy's going to be a monster out there. Going to be reliable. All right, guys. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like this video, comment on this video, see if you would run this thing, or if you would buy yourself some tactical. Or if you would buy this thing. Or not. Lancer Tactical is really interested up with their game, so we're impressed overall. Um, really great features. So don't forget... Like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, extremeersoftri.com. Check us out, whatever recent events we have going on. Make sure you stay up to date with anything. Other than that, it's been your boy Chuckles, and we'll see you next time. Cool. The lower. Oh, God. Somebody's dying.